Hello there! Today we're gonna talk about this bad boy right here, alpha lipoic acid or ALA for short. It is an organic compound that's found in many foods. It is a natural fatty acid that our body can synthesize so we can make it on our own. ALA can be taken as a supplement and is in a more concentrated form or it can be eaten in different foods like tomatoes, beets, spinach, red meat, broccoli, etc. It is a powerful nutrient which plays an important role in glucose transport and utilization for energy creation in the aerobic metabolism which also can assist with controlling glucose levels. It can also support brain health, neural function and cognition and ALA has a very strong anti-inflammatory, antioxidant like properties. It's one of the most potent antioxidants out there. Alpha lipoic acid is promoted as a potent nootropic, meaning it supports cognition and brain health. I've given it a try along with the low carb high fat diet, L-theanine and another potent antioxidant, quercetin. I didn't do any objective tests, but subjectively I felt my brain worked a bit better. I was feeling more efficient, less hyperactivated and a bit more alert. Maybe a placebo, but there is a lot of research on ALA's brain supportive effects. Realized I look pretty serious with his glasses on. Uh, ALA can have a myriad of different health benefits and effects. One of those is glucose transport, so it can help uh, sort of control glucose levels and it can help with energy production during the aerobic metabolism. Uh, it can help with neuroprotection, protecting the brain from degenerating and oxidative stress. As a potent antioxidant, it has potent anti inflammatory effects, which can be great to reduce inflammation, which is the main driver of many modern day metabolic diseases. ALA can also optimize mitochondrial function, which also help us protect against oxidative stress and it helps produce more mitochondria, so mitochondrial biogenesis. It can assist in many physiological processes that lead to better health and longevity. ALA can also support cardiovascular health, may reduce LDL, the bad cholesterol and triglycerides. And that's around it. ALA is more than your regular antioxidant, not because of its potency, but because of its network effect. Yes, lipoic acid likes to mingle. It affects and increases the levels and potency of other antioxidants in the body like vitamin E, vitamin D and glutathione, making the total antioxidant capacity effect even stronger. ALA is a potent antioxidant. Antioxidants help us fight oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is a result of internal physiological processes or external damage and it can speed up aging and lead to a lot of generative diseases. Now antioxidants donate free electrons to neutralize free radicals and sort of give us the detox from oxidative stress and can aid in reducing inflammation which is good for better health, longevity and vitality. ALA is so potent not because of its potency per se but because of its network effect. Uh, it can increase the activity of other antioxidants like vitamin E, vitamin D and even glutathione which is a very powerful antioxidant too. The power of antioxidants is to scavenge free radicals. It seems that lipoic acid and its reduced form dihydrolipoic acid were effective in this plus provided additional cell protection. ALA plays an important role in aerobic metabolism which helps us use and utilize glucose in aerobic metabolism to produce ATP or energy. Now this can have a potent effect on improving glucose control, lowering blood sugar levels and even having a significant effect on assisting in the energy creation process. This can potentially be a viable tool in managing diabetes because it has so many potent favorable effects. A meta-analysis that included 41 articles on this topic showed that ALA may improve glycemic control, blood sugar control, had a significant effect on fasting blood glucose levels, reduce hemoglobin A1c important in diabetes and reduce inflammation factors. ALA is a potent antioxidant for the brain, helping it fight oxidative stress. It can cross the blood-brain barrier and help support glucose metabolism in the brain and also support neural function. Now, if you're familiar with neurodegenerative diseases, one thing that's bad is oxidative stress and inflammation, and another thing that's bad is inefficiency in glucose utilization. And ALA can help with both of these. First, as a potent antioxidant, it it works to fight oxidative stress and can lower inflammation and second it can improve the utilization and use of glucose in the brain which is one of the major reasons for developing and progressing into certain neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. Point is it can help protect your brain. 
ALA has been shown to assist in preventing neurodegeneration. It has been shown to improve focus and memory deficits in people with cognitive impairment. ALA supplementation at 600 mg daily showed 43% improvement in scores for cognitive function on the MMSE test in people with Alzheimer's and diabetes, and 23% improvement in those with Alzheimer's only. Mitochondria are power cells that help us produce energy. Now these cell organelles also have very potent antioxidant-like effects. It sounds weird, but with the use of oxygen they help us sort of detox and fight oxidative stress. Optimizing mitochondria function can lead to better health, improving vitality, freshness and energy, but also lead to increased longevity. Mitochondria are the cells that play massive role in many metabolic processes that allow us to create energy. With the use of different fuels and oxygen in the aerobic metabolism, they help us produce energy in the form of ATP, plus they have potent antioxidant-like effects. Alpha-lipoic acid helps with glucose utilization and aerobic metabolism, crucial for the production of energy. Also, it's an important cofactor for the generation of mitochondria or mitochondrial biogenesis. Heavy metals can accumulate in humans through food, air, pollution or other factors. Uh, they can cause abdominal pain, they can cause vomiting and nausea, but if there's too high levels of these heavy metals, it can also cause internal damage and brain fog and fatigue and different metabolic issues. ALA is known to have a potent metal chelating effect helping us with heavy metal detox or metal removal. In specific animal models or cell cultures, ALA has shown metal protection activity by reducing cytotoxicity, blood metal content, decreasing heavy metals content, and reversing toxic effects of arsenic and mercury. Alpha-lipoic acid can support cardiovascular health by many different mechanisms. First is by reducing the LDL, which is known as the bad cholesterol, and second by reducing triglyceride levels. Both of these can help lower inflammation and oxidative stress, which can lead to other metabolic issues. Another way it can help is by improving glucose utilization, meaning it may prevent the high glucose spikes and reduce glucose variability. Last but not least, it may prevent development of plaque and reduce oxidative stress in the cardiovascular system, keeping our heart young and healthy. Additionally, reduction of lipid peroxidation and inflammation provided by lipoic acid and improving lipid profile may lead to a lower risk of developing atherosclerosis too. Thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna go over the six bullet points again just to remember it. First of all, it's a powerful antioxidant and it increases levels of another potent antioxidant, glutathione. Second, it may improve glycemic control, diabetes management and insulin sensitivity. Third, it can provide neural protection, so protect the brain from oxidative stress and even support neural function and boost cognition. Fourth, it can optimize mitochondrial function and aid in its antioxidant-like effects due to its ability to improve mitochondrial biogenesis. Number five, it can assist in heavy metal detox or removal of metals in the body. And last but not least, number six, it may improve cardiovascular health by improving lipid profile and reducing oxidative stress. Thanks for watching, that was around it for this video. You can go and check out these articles. Everything I was just talking about, even more benefits, eight I believe in this article are written right here. And they have a lot more studies than I was able to pull out for a video. So if you're really interested about the benefits and effects of alpha lipoic acid, just go and scroll down through here. Leave me a comment down below on this YouTube video, what you think. and actually subscribe it makes tremendous progress it lets this video circulate in another's people faces helps them out helps me as well and it just makes the channel grow thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next one bye just to show you what this little beast look like this is what the capsule is like look at that beautiful color look at that all fully poic acid magic